William Strutt was an English artist that lived in Melbourne between 1850 and 1862. He had French academic training, which was just about the best you could get at that time, and he did an amazing amount of uh, works based on Victorian colonial life. So he was here between 1850 and 1862, and in that time uh, the population went from 25,000 to 125,000. So the population of Victoria exploded. The gold rushes happened and Strutt was on the gold fields and he captured, uh, did a lot of illustrations of life there. Uh, he also was here when the terrible bushfire Black Thursday, which burnt a quarter of Victoria, happened and he, he went and took sketches of the aftermath. He also took sketches of other bushfires and when he went back to England in the 1860s, he used all of this material to create a massive history painting Black Thursday, which we're standing in front of right now. He was also here for when Victoria became, broke away from New South Wales and became its own colony and he was there on the day uh, that they celebrated the separation. He also captured the sitting of the first Legislative Council in 1851 and the opening of Parliament House in 1856. Photography wasn't very prevalent uh, when Strutt was here uh, and there weren't a lot of talented artists working in Victoria at that time so he was someone that had the skills and the talent to put what he saw on paper and we're very fortunate that he did because now we have uh, an incredible record of Victorian life in a decade that was astounding and very, very significant in the history of the, of the state and the colony. His works are, are distinctive and ambitious, so if you're interested and you want to see what Victoria was like in this incredibly significant decade in its history, I think you should come down because the works are spectacular and it's quite unlike anything else in 19th century Australian art.